Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make a custom rubber stamp for the Trodat 5200 and this is actually a new model so as you can see it has stainless steel sides and we'll review that as well. The machine I have behind me here is the Trotec Speedy 400 Flex. It has a 140 watt CO2 that was tested a couple months ago just to make sure the, everything's up to par. And it has a fiber that's a 30 watt. Now that's important because the company that manufactured my laser and the software that goes with it is actually Trodat. Trodat is the name that you see at the top of this custom rubber stamp that I'm going to make. But they make the stamping mechanisms. Trodad is the world's largest stamp manufacturer and they made these lasers to make these rubber stamps. And it just happens that it was such a great machine that other people said, hey, we want a machine that's great too. And they started selling them and that's how Trotec uh, evolved over the years to have branches all across, all around the world. And they sell lasers for a whole bunch of other applications, as you can see behind me here, that are totally unrelated to stamps but the origin of the machine and the software and the company is in professional stamp making. So not only is the machine that I use technically from Trodat and the stamping mechanism from Trodat, but also the consumable inside, which is the rubber that you see here, that is also from Trodat. So everything comes from Trodat. That's why the stamps that we make are uh, really, really nice and people really like buying them from us because they're far superior. Now another thing that we do is we engrave them at 1000 DPI. That's something that not many stamp people use. And the reason for that is it takes a lot longer to engrave something at 1000 DPI versus uh, 500 or 333 or 600 DPI. Now, you might think it's overkill, but I, th I think personally that the higher DPI a rubber stamp has, the better the quality that ends up being produced on the paper. As you can see here, we made Robert's stamp. And this is the first time I put the, let me bring it up closer if we get the format, there we go. So this was the first time that I stuck the ink in there and, and it worked perfectly. And then once the ink had a little bit of time to settle, as you can see, the results are totally perfect and sharp. Even if you look at it extremely close, everything's nice and sharp. There is no blurriness, there is no double lines, there, is, there, there are no problems that you generally see with cheap stamps. I 
I stuck a close-up picture because I was having problems getting the focus to work correctly. And I want to show you a high-resolution image of the stamp that we made for Robert. Now, Trodad has evolved over the years. This, when I first got into the stamp making business, this is what Trodat was selling. And I still use it to this day, as you can see here. This is, just happens to be a red stamp. And I use it to this day. I've never had any problems with it. It's still the original uh, ink pad with the original ink. And that's pretty astonishing compared, considering how many trade shows I've gone to and stamp stuff with this thing. Now, after they came out with this, a few years later, they came out with this here, which is all black. And it shares a lot of the similar designs. Uh, these are two different models. It's just what I had in the shop. So this is a 5440 and this is 5205. Uh, this one just happens to be a number, as you can see here. So we offer those as well. So the, the major difference between this one and the new version are the supports here on the side. You press them down here and it holds the stamp down when you want to put the ink pad in or out or move it around. And again, it's the same thing with this one here. You have it on the side and it unlocks all by itself. Now the brand new one, the locking mechanism is at the top. The other major advantage is because we have a 400 flex, if you look at here, you see it's like a rounded edge and the newer model also has a rounded edge, but the newest model has a totally flat stainless steel finish. This is very important because we have a flex, which means that we have a fiber laser. Fiber laser means that we could permanently etch a barcode, a serial number, anything that you want right into the stamp itself and there's no way to remove it. It's completely permanent. It's the same technology that we use to make the this here. So this is a 316 stainless steel plate and you are never going to remove this. I had a project where uh, the specs changed mid-production and I actually had to angle grind these things flat after I did the work. And it took me about 20 minutes to angle grind and remove the ink, uh, or not the ink in this case, it's actually uh, fiber etched off of the stainless steel plate. So when you think about that, who's going to steal a stamp that takes a lot of time with an angle grinder to clean off and then try to resell it, like you just destroy the product during the uh, trying to remake it to resell it. So it's a wonderful anti-theft mechanism that I think here in the shop that would be very popular for our customers. Here we have a Trotec 5200. Again, it's an older model and that's fine. We still make the custom stamps for them as well. What I really like about these Trotec professional stamps is how easy it is to put the ink pad or change them. So here I have an ink pad. In this case, it's purple. And all you do is slide it in and it snaps into place and that's it. You have a professional stamping system with now a purple. Just to show you a comparison of the different setups, here's the older Trodat stamp here. It's a different model but it's the same idea, roughly the same size, a 5440. And you can see here it's a number as well. So for this one here, whenever you put the ink in it, you have to press down like this and we have the stops on both sides that lock it down so you can slide in the ink pad. With the brand new one, here's the 5200 that we made the custom rubber stamp for just now. There is nothing on the sides as you can see. This is just stainless steel. And the locking mechanism is actually up here. You can see it, there you go. So what you do is you press down here and you press on that and that locks it right in. I'm not sure how that works, but it actually works really well. So what we're going to do now is put the, uh, first what we're going to do is put the rubber into it. So here I have it reversed. So I'll put it flat like that. And I place it by eye, roughly, like this here. But before I do that, I have to press this down. Yeah, pressing down. And I got to remove this piece of plastic. So now it's double sided tape and you can see here the shine. So we want the rubber to work this way. So this will be the right, uh, the correct size. You place it by eye. And then 
as centered as possible and then we just press down and now we have the rubber right on there so as you can see here now what we'll do is we'll put the ink pad in so this side here obviously has a plastic covering so that's something that's been added to it because the other ones didn't really have that much of a large piece here so we've got to put it in through the back so here is the ink pad in this case Robert ordered black and all you do is I just press it down general, generally and you just slide it right in like that and you're done now we're going to do a quick test to see how Robert's stamp comes out and during the first one the ink hasn't had time to go everywhere it should so it just takes a few tries and then it's perfect now when we ship these out what we do is I always ship them out with the ink pad out of it that's just to protect it during shipping because you don't want to open a package and then have ink everywhere so it just makes things cleaner and as you can see here this slides right back in here and what I really like about this new design here is unlike this one here and the older version here my fingers are actually ink free for the first time in uh, three and a half years since I've been making these custom rubber stamps. So there you go, uh, evolution of a great stamp made even better by Trodat. As a Trodat reseller, we offer the full range of Trodat products uh, from self inking stamps to static stamps with, that aren't self inking um, to seals and other products. Now sometimes we have customer requests for stamps that are sort of out of the ordinary and in this case here I just made a quick example using my business card a little while back as you can see here and what this allows us to do is make odd shapes and sizes uh, one customer uh, was actually a wallpaper manufacturer and they needed a drum that was roughly 24 by 36 inches so that's basically the size of our machine and th what they would do is stick the rubber on the drum and run it around to imprint the ink and whatever kind of ink they use for wallpaper onto the wallpaper to produce the design that they wanted. Now that's something that Trodad just doesn't have uh, available so we buy the rubber and we do it ourselves here. In this case here there's a Trodad uh, that does this size here but I just want to give you an idea as to what can be done. So let's say you want this to be a large oval or some you know a cutout shape or you know whatever kind of shape or design that you want that you you like to use um, we can make it here for you in the shop. Generally what we do for ink pads, uh, if it's a very large ink pad, uh, just go to Amazon and buy it there. You can buy a lot of different ink pads there at odd shapes and sizes that are very cost effective. For a custom rubber stamp, the easiest way to sort of figure out what size that you need is go to cncroi.com and in the top you'll see buy online and we have the full range there. I still have the old uh, designs as you can see here. So just tell me that you want a brand new design. Trodad is slowly rolling them out so they don't have them for everything. So you know some designs we have these ones available to us and others are still these ones here and they'll maybe come out in a few months who knows. So if you're looking for a custom rubber stamp, contact me at cncroi.com.